back to SSB Simplified, the one-stop destination for all your SSB interview preparation. Today, we are going to cover an important lecture at topic that has frequently been asked in SSB interviews. The topic is the impact of global warming and climate change. For better understanding, we will divide the topic into small parts. 1. Introduction to global warming. 2. Causes of global warming. 3. Impacts of global warming on oceans. 4. Effects of climate change on agriculture. 5. Mitigating global warming. 6. Adapting to climate change. 7. Lastly, I have created a complete 3 minute lecture at video, which can directly be used in your SSB interview. Introduction to Global Warming Global warming is a phenomenon that has been observed over the past century, where the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere and oceans has increased. This increase in temperature is primarily caused by human activities such as burning fossil fuels and deforestation. It happens because of something called the greenhouse effect. Just like how a greenhouse traps heat to make plants grow better, gases in our atmosphere trap heat from the sun and make the Earth warmer. The consequences of global warming are far-reaching and include rising sea levels, more frequent and severe weather events, and changes in ecosystems and wildlife populations. Causes of Global Warming The primary cause of global warming is the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, trap heat from the sun and prevent it from escaping back into space. Human activities such as burning fossil fuels for energy, transportation, and industrial processes are the main sources of these greenhouse gas emissions. Impacts of Global Warming on Oceans As the Earth's temperature continues to rise, the oceans are absorbing more heat and becoming more acidic. This can have devastating effects on marine life, including coral reefs and fish populations. Rising sea levels also pose a threat to coastal communities and infrastructure as well as exacerbating the effects of storms and hurricanes. Effects of Climate Change on Agriculture Climate change can have significant impacts on agriculture, including changes in crop yields, water availability, and pest infestations. These effects can lead to food shortages and higher prices, particularly in developing countries where agriculture is a major source of income and food security is already precarious. Mitigating Global Warming Reducing greenhouse gas emissions is key to mitigating global warming. This can be done through a variety of measures, including transitioning to renewable energy sources, improving energy efficiency, and implementing policies such as carbon pricing. Individual actions such as reducing meat consumption and using public transportation can also make a difference in reducing one's carbon footprint. Adapting to climate change While efforts to mitigate global warming are crucial, it is also important to adapt to the changes that are already occurring. This includes investing in infrastructure that can withstand more extreme weather events, such as sea walls and flood control systems. In addition, adaptation measures can include changes in agricultural practices, water management strategies, and urban planning to account for the impacts of climate change. Lastly, now that we have understood the topic, let us prepare the lecturette. Global warming is one of the most alarming and sensitive issues of the past and present decade. It is characteristically defined as an increase in temperature of the atmosphere and water bodies of Earth. Gradually, it is showing drastic effects on its climate. One of the main reasons for this cataclysmic change is the increased amount of emission of greenhouse gases, led by carbon dioxide, which traps the heat in the Earth's atmosphere, making it warm. These greenhouse gases are necessary to keep the temperature of the planet from falling below freezing levels, but an excessive amount of it has had negative effects due to increased retention of heat. The increased amount is mainly due to excessive burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, chemical pollution from factories, distorted agricultural practices and destructive human activities. Now, the effects of global warming will be disastrous for natural vegetation, will affect the natural habitat of wildlife, alter the natural crop cycles and will spread diseases. The climatic change will also turn the planet into a hub for a number of infectious diseases. Some places will become too hot and inhabitable, causing a mass migration of people leading to a refugee crisis. A lot of flora and fauna which are dependent on the Arctic region for its survival, will go extinct. 
All these scenarios are not something that should be taken lightly. So, let us discuss ways to reduce global warming. Plant trees and reduce deforestation trees absorb and store carbon dioxide and gives out fresh oxygen, which is very essential for our survival. Using renewable sources of energy There are enough renewable sources of energy around you which can be utilized smartly for various purposes while reducing the need to burn fossil fuels. These fossil fuels emit an increased amount of carbon dioxide which directly contributes to global warming. Therefore renewable resources like wind, solar energy, water etc should be harvested efficiently. Also switching to cycles or A-bikes for transport will help in reducing pollution. Lastly, no matter how much we ignore this, global warming is something that will affect everyone eventually. Being a resident of this planet, it's our responsibility to save our home and pave a better future for the generations to come. Lastly, thank you for watching, and if you learned something new, do like the video and make sure to subscribe the channel so that you never miss any relevant updates. Also, check out our other videos and feel free to comment down any suggestions on how we can improve our content.